What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Otto, and today I'm back with another banger video. Well, it's not a banger. I mean, I don't know what to say. My emotions are all over the place right now. I'm trying to keep them calm, so uh, my mind is just uh, chatting a little bit. But the video topic today is going to be about how God tests our faith. If you truly are faithful in um yeah, the things that I've been going through recently, it's like God's been sh been showing me how good life could be, how how great things could be, how abundant I can be. And just like he could give you something, he could take it away from you. So I feel like just analyzing everything that I've been going through that we are definitely under spiritual warfare right now. So it's just like that story in the Bible where uh, the devil told God that if God allowed the devil to take certain things away from him or to do certain things to the person that God was protecting, that he would lose faith. Uh, I forget exactly who that was in the Bible, but that's basically what I'm going through right now. It's like God's been blessing me. And then the devil was like uh, trying to trying to get me to not have faith in God and things like that. And God, like, you could do anything to that boy. And he going to always have faith in me. He's going to always love me. He's always going to choose me. He's never going to uh, uh, cave in or fold or fall to the things that you're trying to use to attack him. Because he understands that he's protected, a chosen one, and just going to prosper in every in every way shape and form at all times even if things don't look bright at the time right now so basically what i've been going through is i have a clothing brand that has been going crazy it's been growing crazy fast on top of my clothing brand growing crazy fast i drive doordash so i was always taught like if you want to be successful or wealthy you need multiple streams of income and from my last clothing brand drop for the first time ever, I was able to make $5,000 in about seven days while I'm homeless. I live in my van, you feel me? And that was like amazing because I never made that much money online by selling something online. And on top of that, like I said, this is about my fourth drop from my clothing brand and all my other drops, I wasn't able to make more than $500 in the drop. So now that I finally dropped the product that the world wanted in X, Y, Z, and they liked it, and it gained, it grew, like it got a lot of people's attention, freaking, like I said, that opened a new door in my mind. And that was just this past week on Black Friday when I dropped those clothes and made that 5,000 in seven days or however many days I made it. Um, I say that to say that yeah, the, like I said, the devil thought that he could take my blessings away from me. So he asked God for permission to try me. And he's been trying me to see who I'm going to pick. And every time I go through something, the first thing I do is pray to God. Like literally, whether it's negative or positive, the first thing I try to do is run to God for everything. I don't try to run to weed. I don't try to run to any people or anything like that. And I'm not going to say I don't ever try, but recently i have definitely been running straight to god every time no matter what i'm going through and i know that all these that this time of like spiritual warfare and hardship is going to pass because it's just a coincidence that all this has been happening at the end of the year going into the new year and it's like the devil knows that he can't stop us the only thing he could do is distract us so if he's distracting us and having our feelings mind and emotions uh uh, in a negative state, then nine times out of 10, our actions are going to be a result of that, uh, or, a, a mirror of our mindset. So the best thing for me to do, or the best thing for anyone to do is to keep a positive mindset, because that's going to be the energy that you're going to next year with. And then that's going to determine how your next year goes and the decisions that you make next year. So I've always just been having faith no matter what and running to God more now but i always ran to god or you feel me would would start thinking and be like damn this is definitely just a test like i gotta deal with this in the right way and if i deal with it in the right way then for shit sure before you know it 
my blessings is going to come. This time will pass and it'll be another lesson and uh, another lesson learned in battle one because nothing can defeat me. Nothing can defeat the chosen ones unless you allow it to. And I'm not allowing nothing to defeat me because I know I'm a chosen one. I know I'm protected. I know I'm blessed. And I know that literally nothing in this world can stop me or God's plan unless I allow it to. And I'm not allowing that shit. And that's my message for y'all today. Just because of the simple fact that I woke up, was about to go drive DoorDash, my account's deactivated. This is the third time in two weeks. Imagine that, getting deactivated three times in two weeks and then getting your account back because it's just system errors. I'm not getting deactivated on DoorDash because I'm arriving late or my low ratings. I'm a top platinum dasher. I got over a thousand deliveries and a 4.93 rating. It's nothing that I'm doing. This is literally the system or some type of spiritual warfare, like I said, to test. Because I, on top of that, I went to go make, I was on a payment plan for parking tickets for um, Santa Monica. I had like a thousand and something dollars in parking tickets, but they put me on a payment plan for $20 a month. When I went to go make the payment, um, yeah, when I went to go make the payment of $20, the first CAPTCHA to verify that I'm a real human that I put in, it didn't work. So when I refreshed it, the entire page refreshed, but it still had my card information. In. So I didn't assume that, oh, the box got unchecked to just pay the 20. Nope, it took the whole $920 from my account. And that was like, I'm gonna just be honest. That was like my last thousand dollars because I already spent most of that five thousand dollars that i made on the clothes on the clothes to get made because it was pre-orders so i literally spent three thousand dollars for the manufacturer to start the clothing and i had like two thousand left i spent another thousand on the bills and stuff that i had and then i had a thousand left after that and i was about to run it back up you feel me to to make the next play and nope i was trying to be proactive i was trying to do my 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 duties and pay the amount that I needed so I could keep my payment plan active and for whatever reason like I said spiritual warfare going on right now that shit snatched all my money out the account and then on top of that two days later I wake up today and my DoorDash account gets deactivated so I only got a couple hundred dollars to my name I literally don't even have yeah I literally don't have a way to make money right now and oh on top of that i had four people charge back their items from the clothing drop so that's about four hundred dollars right there that i gotta pay back to shopify because people called their bank and reported them buying my clothes as a fraudulent charge because they scamming ass people and thought that i wouldn't know or maybe thought that i wouldn't get a notification or anything like that so So yeah, I definitely gotta, um, I'm just watching my cameras cause I just saw somebody pull up and back of me and they pulled up and back of me and then pulled straight off. So yeah, man, um, keep faith. First thing I did when that happened was pray. The first thing I do when I wake up is thank God for another 24 hours. But when I saw that notification on my phone, it just hit me like, damn bro, once again, I'm getting attacked. And it's fine, you know, before a few months ago, definitely a few years ago, but a few months ago for a fact, probably like six months ago, I would have reacted different. This would have fucked my whole day up. This would have put me in a low vibrational mindset and just feeling low vibrational. Then that would have affected my decisions and stuff after that. So now that I just am starting to recognize the patterns more and starting to be able to recognize that. Bro, it's just tests. We are all going through tests. And it's about how you deal with the shit instead of letting it affect you. Um, so, yeah. Keep your faith in God no matter what. Because just like you get tested in school, you're going, and the test ain't easy. You're getting, Why would it be any different from life? If you go to school and get a test, you don't think life is going to be testing you to see how you react and deal with things and see if you do it the right way or wrong way. Because the average person will go through something like this and run to getting high, probably go masturbate, watch porn, and all that shit is low vibrational. Yeah, I do smoke weed, but as far as, like, 
the other things like you are what you hear you are what you watch so that shit plays a different a bigger uh, a bigger part than you think you you think it's 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 doing therapy but in all reality it's 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 deteriorating your mind deteriorating your soul the things that you can't see so instead of doing that how about you run to god and pray up and ask god for another way to show you the different path that he wants you to take and all that um and yeah yeah i really uh truly believe that I'm going to get through this like I always get through everything else. <laughs> you know, I'm going to prosper. I'm protected. I'm blessed. So as long as I deal with this in the right way, nine times out of ten, by the end of the day, I'll get another email saying that my DoorDash account will be reactivated within 24 hours and I'll be able to work within the next two days. And I won't really have to stress too much. But yeah, man, God is just testing you. God is seeing how much faith you truly have in him. Are you going to, when things get hard, are you going to run? Or when things get hard, are you going to come back to him? Are you going to run away from God or are you going to come to God? Because right now, bro, the way that life is going, if y'all can't tell that we are in a full spiritual warfare battle right now and you're still just doing anything based off of your feelings and emotions, you're doing it wrong. Because... Feelings and emotions are temporary. And on top of that, that's your body feeling that. That's not your mind feeling it. That's your body feeling it. Or I don't even want to say that because that might be that might be false. <laughs> but I truly feel like I truly, truly, truly feel like, man, you just gotta deal with this stuff in the right way. You deal with it in the right way, you pass the test, you get your blessings. You feel me? And that's with everything in life. If you do the right things, that's why you're supposed to live right. That's why you're supposed to do the right thing because when bad things do happen instead of it affecting you in a bad way you're going to look at it as a lesson a blessing in disguise because even me getting hit off my motorcycle i was already trying to sell my motorcycle and every place that i went to was only trying to give me like a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars for it i wound up getting in an accident yeah i couldn't work for a couple of days yeah i was in the hospital for a couple of days yeah i freaking was in pain and all that for a couple of days but now come to find out I could be getting a fat ass lawsuit because of the motherfucker hit me. You feel me? So like I said, I could be that that I was only trying to yeah, bro. I could be getting thousands of dollars because of the blessing in disguise, you know? So and I was hit by a car. Could have died, you know? Like literally was in the hospital and uh, uh, some other motorcyclists were riding that night and got into an accident and all three of them died. So it's things like that, like, bro, it's about how you deal with shit. It's about how you look at life. It's about your mindset and the vibrations that you carry in because if you stay calm, cool, collective and make the right decisions at all times, what, what could go wrong? So just want to say that, man, because I love y'all. And even if I don't know you, I still love you because we all brothers and sisters on this planet. And the goal is to wake the next man up. The goal is to show the next man love so then he can then show the next person love and know how to love. Like, like literally, it's the, that's, that's what life is about. It's not about money. It's not about the materialistic things. It is literally about being the best version of yourself so the next person could be the best version of yourself. You ever saw that... Um, that is it's like a I think it's like you call it a metaphor and basically the guy was he had one bowl and then he had a bunch of plates uh behind the bowl and he he basically said if you are constantly focused on you get a little bit and then you try to fill this plate that plate that plate you get a little bit try to fill this plate that plate that plate your your bowl is never going to be full so then you're always going to be empty inside but if you let that bowl run under the water until your cup is full, which is you doing your shadow work, you uh, worrying about the things that are going to matter in the long run instead of, oh, let me go get with this girl right now or go get high or go get drunk. If you focus on filling your cup up in every way, shape and form, which is being the best version of yourself, then inevitably once your bowl is full to the brim it's going to start overflowing and then it's going to leak and 
and yeah, it's going to leak and drip down on all the other plates that are below you. So now, no matter how much you give to those bowls behind you, your bowl is still going to stay filled because you did that shadow work. You did the work necessary in yourself that no matter what you go through, you'll always be fine financially, mentally, physically. So that's how you need to look at life, y'all. And yeah, man, I just wanted to come on here and give that, uh, that because I, I, it's like, I always want to take this YouTube stuff serious. I say I'm going to take it serious and then I get distracted with life and things like that. And maybe this is a sign from God that I need to take my social media serious and and not only my social media serious, but YouTube in, in, in all reality, because this is a platform where I could talk to y'all. This is a platform where I don't have to be perfect and I can relate to people and people can relate to me and we could connect and grow a bond and you know, eventually I could build a family off of this because literally I'm not the only person going through this right now, but I'm one of the few that are willing to speak about the real stuff and not be like every other YouTuber come on here and try to act perfect, seem like they're perfect or any of that. So I truly, truly, truly think that. Yeah, I truly, truly, truly think that if I allow myself to come on this platform and be myself and do it consistently and just speak my mind and the things that I go through, I'll be able to relate with a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And I would never have to drive DoorDash again. I can focus on YouTube and my clothing brand and build a community that supports and truly wants me to win just like I want everybody else to win. That's why I'm coming on this platform and speaking my mind and speaking on the things that nobody else will. So like I said, man, I love y'all. I hope y'all got the message that I wanted to get across today. And yes, yeah, stay up, stay blessed. And I just ask that if you fuck with me, you subscribe. If you can relate to anything that I'm saying, drop some comments, talk to me in the comments and definitely like this video because something got to give, man. I'm not going to lie. Something has to give. And I truly want to, yeah, I truly want to make sure that you guys get the message that I'm trying to get across and that's all but I appreciate y'all I love y'all and I'm out